struggle to survive Ebola doesn't just end once a person is cured. Many are fighting right now to rebuild their lives. CCTV Africa talked with one woman who was working as a nurse. When she contracted Ebola, here she is in her own words. My name is Woki Gray. I'm 35 years old. I am a Liberian. Before the Ebola outbreak, I was working with a clinic, Mawa Medical Center, Vita. I got the virus when I was trying to care for the sick. I started having the this, this symptom, vomiting, joint pain, high fever. So I decided to call the amulet. And when they called the amulet, they came right here and they packed me up and they took me at the ETU. Life at the ETU, it, won't, it was not easy at all. Because people were dying, people were traumatized. For me, I'm the kind of person I'm afraid. Normally, to get me to take pills, it was not easy. From the day I entered the ETU to the 19 days, because I was not eating nothing, I never had no taste. At that time, I was still throwing up, toiling, and so forth. And on the 20, when I got taste of food, oh, my appetite called for food. When I ate the food, I said yes. I felt yes, this was a sign that I would survive this virus. While the day the doctor told me that I was leaving the ETU, I broke down to admit. That whole day I cried. When I came back from the ETU, when I came into the community, certain people accepted me and certain people were like, stay afraid. My friends then some of them will kind of bring food for me. Some people will kind of get me their clothes because when we went at the ETU, our things were like this red. Things because they told all they told us that things that you were using, you have to chunk it out and so forth. So like we started life all over. After my after I came from the ETU, after the three months, I went back, I started work again. In the future, I would love even to be a medical doctor, and where in the future, where there will be another crisis in any other country, if the government can count on me, or maybe the international community can count on me, say, okay, maybe we're looking for a health worker to work in that direction, trust me, I will be there. <laughs>